Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and I am Andrew Hess. So I had a lot of people come to me about questions about duplicates in Power Apps. So I kind of wanted to touch on using the distinct function, uh, combining tables, combining lists, and pulling out the duplicates and seeing what we could do there. So right now I have two SharePoint lists. And on this SharePoint list, it is on the task list site collection. You can see that up here. And you can see I actually have actual work and work in here. Now on the second list, it's under a different site collection, right? And this one's called Water Project. I, I put everything to one, close, red, and one. That way we can see duplicate issue. So I'm going to go to Power Apps. I'm going to combine the two tables. So that way we have multiple tables coming from different places and we're going to remove all the duplicates from the gallery. And we really want to only see the duplicates or we only want to see the items from the task list, right? So let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the project list, right? So that's my project list from the first, from the first site collection called project list. Now they're both called project list. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to both and then perform what's called a union if you ever did data, data analytics. And so the trick with a union is all the columns need to be the same. So the column headers are all the same. First, let's connect the other SharePoint site. So I'm going to add data SharePoint. And it is water project and it is the project list. So we're going to connect to that. All right. So this one is called project list two. I'll rename it. So let's edit data. Oh, we can't. It's just going to stay project list underscore one. Let me move my face. It's in the way. All right. So we have project list and project list underscore one. And this one is connected to water project. And this one is connected to my task list. So on the on visible, I have some other things that I collected. So this is all new. So let's just pretend we're in a new part of the on visible. And I have connected to my data source. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually collect. And actually I'm going to do a clear collect so that way it clears it and then collects. And I'm going to call it collection project list. And I'm going to collect my two SharePoint lists together. So project list and project list underscore one. So if we look at my data source, those are my that's my project list here. And if I move myself, let me move myself. And then I have project list underscore one here. So this is to water project and this is to task list SharePoint sites. All right, so let's take a look of, at that real quick. So I'm going to replace my items property with collection project list. So we do have to exit and come back and let that um, update. So we can see I do have a list and um, of all my projects. So there's a few things that are off. So I believe it's going to change to the underscore um, X0020. That's one reason you want to stay away from spaces in SharePoint. You know, it just makes things more difficult later on. Um, so that's just an example. So once here again, um, this item dot actual work. Let's see what it changed it to. Actual work one in there. I have all my columns back in there. And you can see we're getting the duplicate values in here, right? So everywhere it's red with actual work of one. That's coming from my second table and that is a duplicate. So let's run a distinct function. So now on visible of this screen, we're going to add another clear collect. So we're going to clear collect and I'll call this one collection distinct just to keep it simple. Um, we're going to run a distinct statement and so that's going to remove duplicate values and it's going to run on collection project list by the title and we are missing one parentheses there we go 
So now we're going to collect again collection distinct, and we're going to run a distinct function on our original collection. All right. So let's replace this gallery now with collection distinct. And I believe it's going to mess up because it's going to change title to result. And that's going to break everything. So let's go back, let's go in and back out. We can see it populated. This item dot distinct, oh, dot result, I mean, is now our title field, right? So our title field is now in there, but we do have a distinct value. Now the next problem, there's a big problem. Let's take a look at the collection of distinct. So when we look at the collection of distinct, we're only getting one value in here. Oh no, what are we gonna do, right? It's okay, we'll get this worked out. So let's start with an easy one first, all right? So we're in actual work. This item.actualwork1 does not work. What we're going to do is we're going to say first filter and what are we filtering that original project list that contains all of our our values and we're going to say when title is equal to this item dot result and then we're going to put a period actually right here and I have my parentheses out of the out of place so we can see there's one here, so there's one, two, so we want first filter actually right here. So there we go. Uh, with the parentheses correct, we have first filter, and I'll zoom in on this. First filter collection progress title equals this item dot result is equal to actual work one. So we're going back to that original uh, collection, the original collection with everything, and we're pulling in the first item. So let's do it on the actual spin. So I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll write it all over again, all right? So first, filter on our big collection, collection project list, um, where title equals this item dot result and two parentheses dot actual spin. There we go. We've now populated that in. Let, let's keep going. This time I'll copy it because we've already done it once. So first filter. So in this field, we're gonna fill it in. So for this is project status. Project status dot value. All right, let's go on to the next one. This item project lead dot picture dot project lead dot picture and then we'll keep on going project lead dot display name project lead dot display name let's see if I oh, I didn't type it in there project lead dot display name all right so now we've repopulated our list there's no duplicates. Let's add a new project in there to see if it combines the two. All right, so let's add it in water project. And this will be a new additional water project. One, one, we'll just put some numbers in here to test um, SharePoint. So we, I'm just adding a new one into SharePoint so it's gonna be in our data source here. So it's in water project, new additional water project. Now we're going to refresh water project. And I believe it's this one, we'll refresh. It's refreshing in the background. We'll go back and then in, because so, it runs on the on the on screen visible and you can see we now have new additional water project so let me just try the other project list right so when we create new project in here new project not duplicated this is going to do the same thing we're just going to have the same thing we're going to submit it's going to write new project not duplicated. So this is gonna to go to my original SharePoint list. So in my task list, when I refresh, we can see we now have new project not duplicated. 
In my other SharePoint list, and I'm going to zoom in on this, we can say, oh, we have new additional water project. And this is my water project SharePoint site. So we now have a SharePoint gallery with multiple lists with a distinct function. Now, I just want to show you another way that I saw online, and I thought this was really neat. And so this is not my idea. This is just something that I found online. And so I'm going to pull this up, pull this over. We have, this is by uh, Michael Mendez. So I did not uh, figure this out, but he has a formula here and I can, you know, po paste his URL in there. Hopefully he won't mind me sharing his idea, but he has a formula here to combine two tables without um, doing collections. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to show you another way that uh, I did really quickly. We can go back out and I'm going to create a new screen for this one. So new screen blank and we're going to insert a data table. And this data table, we're going to paste his formula in there. So this is his formula and we would do something like project list. So this is our first, um, our first list and the other one is project list underscore one underscore one then right here he, he's saying show columns and group by so we're gonna create a group by so we can say by title and how about budget and we can keep this one the same so he says last parameter uh, it can be any name you want it to be just it can't be one that you've already used so just make this anything you want and then I'll do this one as title and this one is budget. And then we can see that the data table is actually going to populate uh, title and budget. So this was just another way that I found to do um, combined data without running into duplicates. So this is almost just like using the distinct function. So we have our columns here, right? These are the projects from one table and then each of these are on different tables. So um, another idea is to use what um, Michael Mendez wrote up. Uh, maybe you don't want that many collections, uh, but this is a really neat formula that he did here. And I'll put that in the description. So I, I just want to say thank you for the questions. Um, this is to, uh, not, uh, don't hate me if I say your names wrong. This is to Manjanath and John Lewis. I'm going to say Jean Lewis. Um, maybe it's Jean Lewis, but don't hate me. But um, they just wanted to know more about um, duplicates. So, you know, if I use the function to retrieve only the record in my list and not all equipment. So he's looking for the first record. And then he wanted to know about uh, searching duplicates. So there was two people asking about duplicates. Um, I just want to say thank you. Um, feel free if you guys are watching my videos to, to ask questions. Um, I don't mind uh, researching this stuff and creating a video for you. So thank you guys for watching. This is my SharePoint questions. Please like and subscribe. I'll get back to you next week.